Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with an unboxing of the new 2012 MacBook Air 11 inch. I really love the Air as a portable machine, and the newest model brings some pretty nice improvements. As always, the box comes wrapped in plastic, which we can make quick work of with a knife. Pop the lid, and inside you'll see the MacBook nestled away. We'll take a look at the start of the video in a minute, but first let's see what else you get. Inside the box is your paperwork, which consists of a quick start guide with a bit of information on the computer, Safety information which no one ever reads, and most importantly of all, Apple stickers. You know, the whole reason you buy a MacBook? Moving on, we've got the power adapter. It's very similar to the normal MagSafe charger, with fold-out prongs and an extension cable. What's new is the MagSafe 2 connector, which looks more like an iPhone charger and is a bit thinner. Now that the boring part is out of the way, let's take a look at the Air itself. Once you get the plastic off, you'll see the MacBook Air in all its aluminum goodness. Just like the last generations, it's very thin with a tapered design that goes from 0.68 inches at the top all the way down to 0.11 inches thick. On the left side, you'll see your MagSafe 2 connector, a USB 3.0 port, a combo headphone and microphone jack, along with an actual microphone. On the right side, you'll see the Thunderbolt port, which doubles as a mini display port, and your second USB 3.0. The keyboard is unchanged, which means it's still rocking a full-size layout with backlighting. You'll also see the oversized glass multi-touch trackpad, which really is impressive on an 11-inch laptop. Above the screen is the new FaceTime HD webcam. I'm sure it will be better than the old camera, but honestly, it's a tiny webcam. Don't expect much. This Air comes with 8GB of RAM, a Core i5, and a 128GB SSD. There are lots of options, including going down to 4GB of RAM and a 64GB SSD, moving up to a Core i7 and 512GB of storage. One thing to keep in mind is that you really can't upgrade much on the Air after you buy it, especially the RAM, so make sure you get exactly what you want up front. Anyway, that's about it for this unboxing. If you guys want to see more of the new 2012 MacBook Air, be sure to check out my full coverage here. If you enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.